Good evening. Just setting up. If you give me a moment. Not sure if I have anyone in here yet or anyone joining. Um, this is a last minute decision, a spur of the moment decision to come in. I was taking a break, um, but I decided that I should come in tonight for just a, just a little visit for Christmas and to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, I'm just letting some people join before I start talking. Oh, Terry Ann. Hi, Terry Ann. And Julia, hi. And Karen, hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Oh, and Diane, hi. And Jean. And Lorraine, hi. Merry Christmas. And just, um, just make sure my phone is silent. I'm, <laughs> I, um, I'm just watching the numbers of who's in, and I know this is a spur of the moment decision to be here, so uh, not everybody's going to be joining in that normally would. I do not have Tracy with me tonight, so I don't have her monitoring, but I'm not in for a long, long time. Erin, you love my nail. <laughs> Thank you. I have these done in Leduc at uh, colors and it's I have like the most amazing nail tech there I love her um, her name's Fiona my mom was my nail tech for years but as many people know my mom has just fully retired uh, she's decided to finally retire and take some her time so yay Shaiva hi Okay, so I was doing some running around today and then the past few days I've been doing um, some kind of last minute readings, some kind of squeezing in some emergency sessions and that kind of stuff. Um, and so what's been coming up for me, and I don't know if I'm doing any individual readings for anyone tonight, I'm just in for a probably a half hour. I'm supposed to be on break. I was done. I was going to be taking time off until after Christmas. So uh, tonight is just, I just decided that I want to do one more with you guys before Christmas and to uh, also announce something that I'm going to be offering um, between now and, well, now and into early part of January. Hi, everybody. Oh, and my little Sebastian is here. I know he's in here tonight. Uh, so mama, um, I was in the mall today and I was in the mall and as I was walking around the mall, all I kept seeing was orange, 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 blue, orange, blue, orange. Like it just kept popping out at me. So I knew he was with me. I know it's Christmas season and to just know that he is with you. Uh, my computer screen seems to be stuck. Hold on. Oh, and Sophia, hi. Hi, sweet Sophia. Um, thank you for joining in with me tonight. Okay, so... Um, as I was saying, I've been going through, I've been doing like some last minute sessions for people and the struggles of Christmas and and we've been having this discussion, um, myself and a couple of friends of mine, as we've been going through, you know, this is a whole new Christmas for myself and for a couple of my friends uh, to be uh, living a different life than we were living the previous Christmas for the past however many years of our lives and that... Um, and some of the emergency kind of sessions that I've been taking on and doing have been based around the loneliness or the or the the sadness and stuff that comes up or the pressure that comes up to keep up to Christmas. This year we have decided, 
myself and my daughter and her fiance and my mom, and that we all decided that we're not doing that big Christmas. I used to spend thousands of dollars on Christmas and we decided this year we're not. We are putting our, our efforts this Christmas into love and we're spending time together and we're not doing the big presents. We're just doing a little gift and we're doing, we're not going out of our way to, to just be that commercial Christmas that everybody wants. We're spending and two evenings together, two days together, and just having food, love, wine, coffee, whatever it may be. Uh, um, I'm sure it'll be lots of wine. But that's the Christmas that we're having. And what's been coming up is that there's, a, and this is the reason why I came on, there's a lot of people out there that are lonely. There's a lot of people out there that are struggling this Christmas. And there's a lot of people out there that are having a really difficult time. And I seen this when I was in the mall today how we so quickly walk past another human as if they're not there or as if they're not important, like bumping shoulders and saying absolutely nothing, like forgetting that the, um, forgetting that human connection. And the biggest thing that we can do sometimes is just have a kind word for somebody, a, um, hi, how are you? Wish them Merry Christmas, whatever it may be, something of a kind gesture. And if you're following my Instagram, I guess you see it on here as well, that a few weeks ago I had somebody do something very kind for me. And um, and I, I will not forget that. And it's funny because I ran into the same person today as I was coming out, the, going into the grocery store. And I'm like, oh, how, I'm like, it's amazing I'm running into you now to be able to say thank you again, like one more time for the kind gesture of what this person had done. And um, even if it's something so simple as to hand somebody a loony for a cart, if you're at a grocery store, you know, where you have to put those little loonies in the cart to get a cart, even if you're the person that gives somebody a little loony, take the time over the next few days or tomorrow while you're out doing that running around over the next few days even to do something kind and to remember people and to be truly in the right spirit of what it's supposed to be about and it's not the pressure it's not putting the pressure on and it's not about trying to force people to have the you know that christmas experience if they're not in the mood to have that christmas experience um this year i made a decision to turn my tree into an angel tree and uh, i didn't put on all my traditional decorations i put it all white and silver and i put butterflies and hummingbirds and and flowers and it's in and it's in memory of my dear friend's beautiful daughter and that I knew Christmas was not going to be the Christmas that we had every year and because of that and our own life changes and everything that had happened that um, putting so much emphasis into love this Christmas and kindness and compassion and to just be there for people and to um, kind of if you know somebody who's who has known for Christmas, invite them over. Why not open your doors? Why not open our doors to people that have nowhere to go? We have, I don't even know how many people we have coming. <laughs> We've invited several people to come spend Christmas with us. And um, even if you don't know very well these people, why not, if you know a neighbor who you know lives alone, if they're not willing to come, bring them over a plate of dinner. Do something very kind. Be kind. Uh, I'm just trying to read through. Sorry, guys. Let me see. Uh, Taylor, <laughs> I'm not really about convincing people about uh, mediums or about the work that we do. We don't feel that there's something to actually prove. The way I do it is that if somebody's coming through, I let them just come through. I don't go search for somebody. I give them the opportunity to come in. Uh, I'm not really doing much mediumship work tonight. I just wanted to come in and say my thank yous and my Merry Christmas to everyone who has been kind and generous to me this year and everyone who has supported me. Um, I do book private sessions. And like I said, I, I meet lots of skeptics in my life. <laughs> and it's not, and, I, and I've been, you know, people trying to challenge me. I don't, I don't explain and I don't have anything to explain. Uh, but like I said, if there was somebody coming through, if anyone channels through and just pops in, then I will bring them up for sure. But I, at this very moment, I wasn't channeling in anyone. Uh, Aaron, same here. I'm calling it my no obligation Christmas. Aaron, I like that. I like the no obligation Christmas. Thank you for that. Uh, I wanted a tree for fun. For picking. 
a picky one, but didn't want a huge tree, so I went and cut down three foot shrub. <laughs> I eat the food I want to and bake and yeah, no obligations exactly. We we have no obligations. We have a turkey for the Christmas day, and other than that, we have nothing else. We're going to a candlelight service. We're doing those type of things, but we are doing nothing that's and nothing set in stone. Uh, Sonia, same. I'm going through a separation. Yeah. Yeah, me too, Sonia. <laughs> it's been a while for me now, but yeah, uh, not in the mood. There's, yeah, there's, exactly. There's a lot of people not in the mood. Works somebody told him to invite any soldiers who want to come home for Christmas. Oh, I love that, Alicia. Yeah, like invite soldiers, invite, you know, anyone that you know that just hasn't. And it's, and it's amazing how that ripple effect of the kindness that we show and the and to be generous, and my, my my big thing was I would love to be able to be home with my family in Newfoundland. I haven't been, I have not been home for years at Christmas, but I can't. So uh, you make family. Sometimes you make family just random people, and whoever those random people are, that's the people you invite, and you invite them into your world. Hello, my speaking of family. Hello, Paula, my Newfoundland best friend. So my gift to everybody tonight was I didn't want to pick and choose people to do cards for. I wanted to do some cards that would relate to a lot of people. I d everyone comes in here and everyone asks for cards and so many people get left out and I get it. Hold on. I get it. I, I, I wish I could give everyone a card and I wish I could channel through everyone's loved ones and I wish I could, and I wish I could make everyone's, you know, desires of wanting to communicate the spirit come true but I in that very moment but I can't that's not how this works and it's not how I can work and I'm one person who's on here and there's hundreds of people that are flipping through and everyone that everyone that signs in and as quick as everybody signs in I start to pick up that energy and so as fast as things are moving by here that's how fast this energy is moving for me one-on-one -on -one sessions we're in a whole different ballgame. When I'm in here and this is Facebook and it's Facebook Live and there's hundreds of people that are flipping and leaving and coming and going, it's different. So I just, I know so many people get left out of here and I and I hear it and I hear it all the time. And now remember, you can always pay and book a private session with me. <laughs> I do offer private sessions and they're over video, phone, uh, and some are in person. I do a lot of video sessions. Um, and so what I wanted to do tonight was I wanted to come in and I'm just going to start giving cards. I'm just going to start pulling cards and they're general cards and they're general cards for now. And then I also have an announcement of what I'm going to be offering out. Um, I have a special that I've never done this. Um, this is not something that I've ever done, but I'm going to start to be between now and New Year's. I am going to be selling uh, on, I'm going to be creating a, a page or a, a message and you can buy a year it's a year in review but also a forecast into 2019 it'll be a video recording and I will use the cards and my and my and my channel to send you out a video recording which will be about 30 minutes long and uh, it could be it could be longer some might be 45 minutes who knows but they will they'll definitely be at least 30 minutes but it will be a kind of a, a where you have been and where you're going a forecast in a 2019 it's a reading and it'll be I'm gonna offer it as a um, as a video reading for for $79.99 plus tax I have to charge GST so plus tax and I'll post all of this after we're done the live and if you want to if you want to buy one of those one of those readings it will take me a few weeks to get them all out so I'll, I'll have a date by which you will receive them but they're all going to be video recorded readings that will be that I will be selling and I will be selling them right into probably the 4th, 5th of January that you can still buy them. Uh, so it gives you time to even think about it over Christmas. And it's the first time that I've done those to actually offer it. And um, I just decided it was something kind of good to give people with that, you know, we've had 2018, it's definitely been an up and down year. So interesting to see what 2019 will get. And all I'm gonna need is just your name and your birth date. 
not the year so much, but the birth date. The year helps just because I I will also be tapping into the to the um, to two of the astrology into the Chinese and into the Western astrology to do this for you as well. And this is why I need your birthday, not because I'm going researching you guys. <laughs> it's because it's because I need that to kind of do the astrology part of it as well a little bit. I'm not an astrologer, so I don't have all the the degrees and stuff for you to kind of give you the moons, and, but but kind of what relates to you. Thanks, Gina. All right. So the first card that came out and it went flying onto the floor. Ashley, <laughs> you're confused. I'm offering a, Ashley, I'm offering a, um, a video recording for $79.99 plus GST. And it's a, uh, it's kind of where you have been in 2018. What was, what was, uh, you know, something that was really affecting your year or holding you back or things that you can really work on healing as you go into 2019, but also a forecast of 2019 for you. So it's a, it's a little bit of like a prediction type of thing as well. Um, it'll be about a 30 minute reading, could be up to 45 minutes, but they're all video recordings. They're not an email reading. I'm not writing nothing out. This is all going to be done. They're all going to be video readings that you can buy from me. So you're not talking in person to me. It's not one on one. It's a it's a recorded session that you will receive when you purchase this. So you would be paying the link will be up how you'll pay. You'll pay through PayPal or e-transfer and then you'll email me with your with your name and your birth date and then I will email you back within it could take up the week two weeks depend on how many people buy of to get those sessions out but it'll all be posted I'll explain it all nice to meet you Karen okay All right, so the first card that came out that went flying on the floor, and I'm using my Mother Mary deck, and that was enthusiasm. Kind of start to be excited. We have been, the, so this is, anyone just joining in, everyone's coming, coming slow because I didn't announce I was coming in here. Um, I'm doing a bunch of cards for everybody instead of picking one or two people to choose cards for. So I'm going to be pulling a lot of cards and they're all going to be general. And if they relate to you, great. If they don't, then maybe the next card will. But 2018 was a really up and down year. A lot of people really, really struggled to, through 2018, but it was a year of up and downs. It was definitely a year where we had seen some, you know, beautiful defining moments and some and some deep seated healing, and we've seen uh, kind of kindness and compassion being shown in big ways. But we also seen fear and anger being pushed to the forefront, and we're and right now where we are, we're seeing a lot of fear. We're seeing a lot of fear, and we're seeing a lot of um, like um, angers and those type of things that's been coming to coming to light and the reason why and it was because of the you know this full moon that was coming in it was like a surrender moon it was a i kind of i'm done done dealing with the past i'm done dealing with i'm done living through the things that have been affecting me for 25 years type of thing and i don't and of course i'm not talking about our our grief of our missed loved ones i'm talking about the life events of you know challenges, behaviors, things that were kind of pushed on us or things that we have self-sabotaged ourselves with. Those type of things that we have self-sabotaged or that we keep letting kind of ruin our mojo, kind of bring us down. Those type of things that we're saying now or the type of relationships you keep going into, we keep going into over and over and again. It's like that's kind of leaving us. So whatever you, whatever you were doing 18, 20 years ago, that was a pattern that you followed through right till now. This is the surrender time, this moon last night, the everything, the winter solstice. It was about light coming in and that we're, that we're ready to, we're ready to let things kind of go and to start having some joyful, happy thoughts around us, like some joyful, happy moments. And there's some, and there's, um, seeing, seeing things with more clarity like this enthusiasm is is that um it's about bringing passion back into life bringing passion into the things that you love what do you love to do what did you love to do a few years ago that you stopped doing what were what were you doing for you that you stopped doing 
yes, full moon this Christmas. So what were you doing for you? What was your, and, and whatever that passion was, you're going to find what's kind of been happening in the past few months is that we're being returned to a passion, being returned to the things that we used to love or the things that we used to dream of when we were kids. I really wanted to do this, or I really wanted to be this, or I really wanted to take on this. But it's the passion behind the dreams that you had as a kid that's actually coming back to life. Not so much always the same dream coming back or or the way the dream was. It was just that that seeing it through the eyes of the passion of a child, having a zest and a passion for life again. What were the beautiful things? And if you were like a, um, I feel like I have a little dancer in here. Oh, Sophia, my little dancer. Um, the passion that's behind the dance, right? The passion that's there and having, as a grown up, when you watch those children dance, having that kind of passion again, or uh, if you were someone who, who as a child, love to you know be outside and, and outdoors in nature and would love to go near the water and you haven't done that in years it's like those type of things bringing back things that make your heart sing because that's the that's what's going to ignite the joy and happiness that is that is kind of in the energy that we're kind of moving into that we're moving into a kind of a higher vibration energy right now and I don't know how long it's going to last. And like I said, it's not for everybody. And everybody's not going to be in it because it all depends on your plan, how you align with the planets and your astrology, all that stuff. But there just seems to be a lot who are sitting, who are coming into a rising up in the vibration. And also we're rising into, we're, I want to say we're rising into the north. Like we're, we're coming up, like we've been very... We've been very down here and very southerny and like down here, but we're rising into the north. So we're seeing, we're seeing, um, seeing that even in, like even in the cold, there's beauty, right? And even in the cold, there's beauty. And I want to say if you were up north and, you know, if, you, if you're north and you see the beauty that's in the north of the northern lights when the northern lights are going by and that type of thing, there's, there's, there's beautiful light in everything. Right, somewhere there, there's beautiful light, and it's like we're. I just feel we're going this direction, so we're moving in an upward direction. And those who love us on the other side, those who have been with us, and those that have been kind of pushing us all year, saying you're not giving up, you're not giving up, you're going to keep going, you're going to keep. And and I've been seeing it so much in so many people who have who are our loved ones on the other side. They're like, oh no, 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 you're not stopping. And you find yourself saying, I really want to just stop. I really want to just sit on the couch and do nothing. And But something keeps pushing you and because it keeps pushing you up and pushing you up. I want to say up off your ass, right? Pushing you off your ass and just go do something. And that's the kind of childlike energy that we're moving into and that we're sitting into is seeing the awe. So we're seeing the awe and the wonders in everything. If you put a kid outside and it's freezing cold, us as adults, we bitch and complain and we whine about the cold. Children are not, they, they see, oh, I can go out and make a snowman and make snow angels and I can go out and play and I can build a hill and I can, I can, I can go slide down a hill or I can, you know, I can build tunnels and I can build igloos. And we go out and we're going to say, ugh, it's freezing cold. Well, that's the thoughts that change. It's like we're changing our words and our thoughts to match in a higher vibration. And that's the enthusiasm that I'm seeing. And if you're somebody who has been very much in that negative thought, negative, oh, I don't know what happened. In that negative thought, negative words, there just feels like that. Just know that those who love us on the other sides are giving us that boost and that push to say, let's see the beauty. Let's see the, let's see the fun things that are here. Let's, you know, you're still here to have the human experience. How much of your human experience do you want to be down here in this, in this place when you can rise here and you can see things in a different light? So letting yourself see the joy, the beauty, the wonderful through the eyes of a child. That's where we're coming. Just allow yourself to see through the eyes of a child. And that um, I also feel as if anyone who, not anyone, I don't want to, I don't want to clump everybody together. It's hard when I'm doing a group, when I'm doing a card for everybody. Um, if you're somebody I feel like if you're somebody who has been really struggling with, should I, should I take on, should I take on this, this new course or should I, should I sign myself up in school? Should I be branching out into this area? Should I be, it's like you are being pulled. This is like you're being pulled in a new direction. So we're really going around, we're really going around the medicine wheel 
is what it feels like. And it's like you're being pulled. And so if you find yourself kind of being drawn to one direction or the other, don't be afraid to go. And I feel like this is for several people in here. Don't be afraid to take on the course. Don't be afraid to take on the new schooling, the training, whatever it is. I, as much as I do this, I am a lifetime student. I spend my time, my life in school. I am ever learning. I'm ever growing. And don't, it's like, don't say, oh I, oh, I think I'll wait one more year. Or I think I'll put this off for, you know, another six months. Make a commitment to yourself. Make a commitment to yourself going into 2019 that this is the year that you are going to open up your mind and open up your heart to learning something new, to step out of a comfort zone of where you have been stuck for a long period of time. And I don't care if you're a professional and you've been in your industry for years and you're like, well, I already did all this and I'm already this good and I already know what I'm doing. Well, there's something of that that brings life back to your job and to your career that that brings life back in so that you're a little bit more excited about going to work, you're a little bit more excited about your job, you're a little more excited about everything that you're about to take on. All goes into the enthusiasm. Okay. Put that card back in. Can't leave no cards out when I'm pulling cards for everyone. And we're in the Mother Mary deck. These are the Doreen Virtue. And people always ask me, message me later and ask me about the cards. Uh, anyone knows my work knows that I channel Mother Mary Jesus, um, uh, Mother Teresa, and I do a lot of God work. And so when you hear me talk, it's not that it's a, and it's not that these people are are of a of a religion. These people are the ascendant masters. They're the people that are. These are the spirits, the guides that are there that pass on these messages. And um, this deck is my Mother Mary deck, and it's a Doreen Virtue deck. Uh, I've been using this deck for years. It goes everywhere with me. All right. And I'm anyone is asking me about channeling in or to, to pull a card. I'm not pulling a card for anyone in particular. These cards are for everybody tonight. So if they relate to you, this is just my Merry Christmas to everybody. Because every I always got something, like I said, anyone joining in now, I have to leave out so many people when I'm pulling cards or when I'm pull, picking certain people and just doing random readings for. So my Merry Christmas to everybody and why I'm in here tonight is I wanted to pull cards that would just resonate and that would give you something for the Christmas uh, for the Christmas time because I am taking till after New Year's off. So this is my gift to everybody that the cards are for everyone and if they relate to you, they relate to you. I'm not channeling through the people that are on the other side tonight so much. I do have my little boy with me that, he's not my little boy, he belongs to Susan, my dear friend who's in here. Um, but his name is Sebastian, and he seems to be everywhere I go. I've met him, I met him, uh, I think probably a year ago now, more, and he's, um, he's a special little spirit, and he just seems to love my lodge, and he seems to be, if I go to the mall, he's there. If I go for a walk, he's there. Oh, Samantha. Hi, Corey. I just lost my dad, and three weeks ago, three weeks before, two of my brothers had a heart attacks, it seems. Oh, sorry. I can't. Oh. Uh, it's been so hard. Oh, I'm so sorry, Samantha. Sorry to hear all that. Um, I'm hoping these cards will help you out tonight, Samantha. And I am. One thing you'll always know is when you are in my lives, I'm always the, the, the spiritual healer in me, the Reiki master teacher in me always channels into sending the healing into the hearts of whoever's joining, whoever needs it, whoever's here. I do I do, do the distance healing work as we are in here. So I am sending love and healing, and um, I am with you, Samantha. So I hope some of these cards relate to you. So the next card that I'm pulling... Is still from this deck, and I'll change decks. I will. I have about five decks out here. I'll switch up the decks. Yes, Sebastian's twin sister Sophia is here as well. And the next card that I pulled, I'm actually pulling two to go with this. I don't know why. It's open your, open your heart. And as anyone that's been 
following the past couple months, I've been doing a lot of heart-centered healing work. If you're in some of my private groups, if you were in, if you were in my uh, clearing your clearing the chatter, the the brain chatter course that I just taught online. If you were in that, if you were in any of my recent courses, you know that I've been doing a lot of heart-centered healing going into the core center the heart is like one of the other it's just like your your heart is like hearing right it's like you can that sense of the heart has such a powerful control and toll on everything and if it's shut down and if you continually come from a place of where you keep your heart guarded or you're shutting down your heart how do you expect the flow of of life force energy the the life force energy to be able to flow through if you keep pushing it away so if you keep pushing away but you keep saying i want a healthy relationship and i want to find someone to marry or i want to i want to be in a relationship or why can't my partner relate to me but if you're this if you're this shut down and you, it's like there's a brick wall and and this energy is trying to come towards you how is it supposed to get in and part of the healing that we do is it's the is living in the vulnerability is opening our heart and letting in and no matter what you need to feel in the moment giving yourself the opportunity to feel that it's like you don't have to stifle back your emotions and you know how many people have been taught to stifle back your emotions it's that your emotions are not you know you you, you have a tear you know, you see, I often see people with tears and I can see them in their eyes and they're just gulping them back and not letting it out. Let yourself cry. If you need to cry, cry. That's all those things. If you need to, you know, if you need to scream, scream, whatever it may be, part of having an open heart is also to let in joy and happiness and to let in um, all of the beautiful awesome wonders that are in life. And when you allow yourself that full range of emotions of you when you allow yourself to feel everything and you allow yourself to kind of to to accept all forms of love that is from the divine because this love is pure and it never leaves us when we say no one loves me that's not true ever and it's like so once you start to allow that and you start to allow your heart open the flow of abundance the flow of love the flow of life everything starts to flow through the more resistant you are the more you're resistant to life why do things happen why don't I don't know why things happen nobody knows why things happen. it's an, it's those are answers those are questions that are unanswerable we don't know those but there's the things that we do know is that we can sense we can feel and that we know we all have a heart and we have a heart that's worthy of of living happy and whole because that's why you're here to have an experience oh Sophia can your brother be in two places at one time yes your brother can be anywhere at one time he can he can do he's like a magical he's like just a magical beautiful light that just gets to be wherever he is needed and he's always doing the most beautiful things to help people he really is Natasha my Christmas has been made so much better by the generous generously of others here in town amazing people I have let go of the negative one in my life also good yeah and see so when you let go and you release the negative and you let in the positive right you see the kindness and when you see when people when people are showing you that kind of kindness is that you start to feel that kind of kindness in your heart as well and the other card that came out with that with that card was your integrity oh hard to see my lights are funky tonight integrity and as and then with this with this card it says I trust my ability to know what is true for me what is your truth what you know what is your truth are you are you still continually telling the story of a, of old I want to say ancestral passed down generations of a story just say for example I'll use uh, well my family's always been poor so we're not meant to be rich people because no one in my family has ever been rich or uh, if, if you have money it means you're you're evil or if you if you if you if you want money it means you're greedy or um, any and but you've learned that and you've learned that from childhood 
or you know well we we're not that kind of people we don't we're not social kind of people or we're not friendly kind of people we're or i've i'm i'm somebody who don't like to be around other people what is what is really behind that is that your truth or is that something that you've heard over the years or something that you keep speaking i i just remember being when i was when my daughter was little i used to say oh i think she's shy she's shy she's shy and then um I remember a teacher saying to me, who this was prior to me ever taking this on so seriously in my life, was maybe she's not shy. Maybe you just keep telling the story that she's shy. Because you keep speaking for her and you keep allowing her to be the role that you've now created that she is. Because my fear was somebody hurting her. So it was a protection, right? And because she had been hurt in, in certain ways. So what stories... What is your truth? And when you step into your integrity and to your light, it's like you don't have to tell your story. So if you're in a relationship that's unhealthy and you and you keep trying to, and they keep telling you that there's something wrong with you, you are the problem. And I don't know why this is coming up. So if somebody keeps telling you that you are the problem, you're all the problem, you're the problem in our family, you're the problem in the relationship, you are the problem. And you cause all the problems. You're the one who makes me mad. You're the one who makes me unhappy. You're the one who, and if you're the one who's always being get receiving this this kind of um, negative stuff from a person that's in your life, from family or whatever it may be, stand in your own truth. You know the truth. You're not. You know in your heart. You've just allowed this to be. And so, opening up your heart means also opening your heart up to your own to to believing your own truth and to standing in your light and in your integrity of saying, no, I'm going to stand up for myself now and I'm going to, and I'm going to, you know, I know that that's them and they're reflecting, they're reflecting their own angers back on me. That's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. So wherever you're seeing that, know that there's, why is this coming up? And what the one thing I would say, and this question goes beyond like, what do I need to know is, what do I believe to be true at this moment? What of this time do I believe to be true? What truth am I telling myself? So if you're convincing yourself, if you're constantly in a time of, if you're in a, if you're living a life of convincing yourself that, oh, you know, I just stay living this way because this, you know, this is comfortable or, or my, my mom had told me that as long as you meet the right person and as long as you meet someone who will take care of you and can financially provide for you and da 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 and that's the life and and you know and they're not mean to you then that's the life you should just stay in even if you're not happy or even if you're not you know anything like that any of those type of stories or you keep telling your children you know stories over and over again of you know, of your fears, of what was your fears and what fears do you keep passing on to the children that is not really true. And when you start to face your truth, what do I believe to be true? Then we start, when we can look at it that way of what, what we're then facing and what is, what is my reality? What is, what is beyond, what is beyond this one dimensional thinking that I continue to live in? Why, you know, what is, I live like this. And if I'm living like this and I got a tunnel vision, it's because I don't, I'm afraid to see what's over here because if I look over here, my life is going to change. And, and, and I'm comfortable here and life is, and life is okay here. It might not, I might not be happy and I might not be doing what I want to do. And I might not be doing the schooling I want to do. And I might not be working a job or living the life or I might not even be having children because someone else didn't want to have children, whatever it may be. It's beyond here. And it, when we get stuck here and we get looking this one dimensional thinking and viewing that, that we're not seeing everything else that's over here. And it's time to kind of allow yourself. And this is coming into that 2019, right? That this is the switches and changes because we've been kind of struggling through our ups and downs and finding who we are and kind of thought we knew who we were and then freaking crumble again and then have to find our way back up again. So it's that whole what's over here, what's beyond. And this is where I always say, see through the eyes of a child. Children are curious. Have a curious mind of your life. Why at our, you know, at you know, at our age or as we as we become adults, as we grow, why do we stop being curious? Be curious. Live your life curious. Get curious again about the things that you're interested in, the things that, that kind of spark your light, that bring you out, that open your heart, that that makes you that brings back that enthusiasm for your life again. 
Okay. Hi, Dale. Merry Christmas. Kenzie, that sounds like you. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, some of these cards will relate to some people, some of these cards will not relate to some people, and then there will be cards for other people as well. So we are going through a few cards here. i get through as many as I can. Like I said, I'm not picking out individual people. This is random. This is for everyone. So whoever's joining in later and watching later, please go through and just listen to it all because you never know what's going to relate to you. And the next card that's coming out is home. Hi, Lindsay. Merry Christmas. Home. This is, and the home card for me, what's coming out is that um, home is where the heart is, but home is also the human body that houses your spirit. So when you think of home, home so you might be as far like i live far away from my home my home well what is my home hometown my home's in newfoundland but i don't i don't spend my life dwelling in that i'm not there and i make ho the home the real home is like we're like a turtle right you carry around your shell and so you carry around your shell you the, your your human body is your home and just like any other home that you have, just like you're going to care for your home and you're going to declutter it and you're going to keep it clean and you're going to, you're going to, you know, you're going to, you're going to take good care of it because it has value and you're going to invest in, in it because you don't want to lose the value in it. You have to start looking at yourself the exact same way. And I have had a whole year of this myself for, yeah, October was a year since I had my surgery. And it, it's, it's been a battle some, to, some days to remember or to not self-sabotage that I'm worthy of to be in this healthy body. And that when you start to, I am turtle clan. Yeah, I'm turtle clan. Um, and so knowing that you house this, this home that houses your spirit is just as important and this is where the balance comes in. It's just as important that you, if you're doing a lot of spiritual work and you're doing a lot of awakening and you're, go, you know, you're going to all the yogas and the meditations and you're doing all that, but you're letting all of this fall apart and you're not taking care of this and you're getting stuck in here. And we just finished this in the class that I was just teaching about our chatter brain and being stuck up here, having, living too much in your head and having all of the past and all and holding all of the regrets and all of the self-judgment and all the self-sabotage holding all of that stuff or all the shit that everyone ever said to you and never forgiving people when you're holding all of that stuff in your body it's the exact same thing as if you have become a hoarder and you have let your home go and you've just like and then you'll notice that when you're doing this everything around you becomes that your house becomes that everything around you becomes that and your relationships everything gets cluttered up it is so important that you love the home that houses your spirit, that you fall in love with you again. And this is the year about, also about, same thing with the child's eyes, about falling in love with you again. Falling in love with why you do the things for you, of why taking time for you is so important. If it's an hour a day, get an hour a day. You deserve that and you have, and you are valuable and you're always, and it's that investment you invest in money, you invest in the, you know, you invest in your home, you invest in other people. Why are you not investing into you? You are a part of the divine collective and you are the beauty and the light of God. So why would you not believe that this has value? And when you start to look at this as a home, as a house, you truly start to believe in yourself that you are valuable. And that every part of these organs and, you know, the blood, the veins, every part of all of you, the, you know, all of this truly, truly is a well-oiled machine. And so when everything runs smoothly and, and correctly, and trust me, 
I, when I tell you this, I live it just like everyone else. I might be the channel, but I'm still human. We're going to have human moments. I've had that many freaking chatterbrain moments over the past summer of my healing because as we were coming to this moon, as we were just coming through this moon, we went through, I had to face my past and I had to face the things that I had not let go of. And I have self-sabotaged myself for a lot of years out of, a, out of my grief and out of my loss that, and that I did not feel worthy of having a healthy body. And so when I got a healthy body and when I started to look good and started to feel good, I started to try to destroy it again. Because how dare I be proud of that or how dare I see that value? And, and it's like old thoughts. And so I had to work through them. And now I know I'm invested, that I can invest in myself. And, and that there's, when you do that, it's just like we just align. We bring ourselves, we bring ourselves into a healthier whole. Kelly, I so needed to hear this as I miss being home for the holidays. Yeah, Kelly, a lot of us miss being home for the holidays. But we make the best of where we are. We don't sit and do well that we're not there for Christmas. We make the best. And that's where I said you invite, invite in people. My house is currently disaster. Time for some inner house cleaning. Yeah, when you do the inner house cleaning, when you clean, when you clean up you, when you when you can clean up this house that you live in, and you can clear your brain, you can open your heart. When you start to be able to see, it's like you know, clearing off that third eye where we just kind of shut out seeing beyond that we just try to get stuck. Thank goodness you worked through them. Bravo. Yeah, right? It's just like, um, I did work through them, thank God. And I was in Austin, Texas at one of the biggest like moments and events in my life this summer. And I was a freaking mess the day I arrived. A mess. And I pulled myself together. And that's where I met my friend Lisa. Uh, and I pulled myself together. And I had to do some aha and some facing moments. And so make yourself valuable. That's the big thing. And whoever you are, and I don't know which ones are in here that this is for, that you're not honoring the home that houses you. You're not, you're not saying that I am valuable enough to put myself first. You're not here to be number two. You're not here to be number three. Every one of us here on earth are here to be number one. We all are just as important. There's no one any more important than us. And as a mom, as a dad, no matter what role you are, you are not going to be of service to anybody if you are not taking care of you. And when you take care of you, you show up much better and you show up in a much more beautiful light when you do that first. Making you that priority. Ah, thank you, Danielle. <laughs> I met amazing people in Austin, by the way. I have an incredible new tribe group of friends that I have from Austin that I just love. Julie, I'm not picking out individual people, sorry. I'm, this is my Merry Christmas to everybody. I'm just doing cards so that everyone here can enjoy these cards. And if it relates, it relates. And if it don't, maybe the next card will. Natasha, I value me. Um, of course, I even value the bad because seeing the bad makes you realize all the good. Exactly, Natasha. You spent enough time in classes now, Natasha, <laughs> to know, right, that um, it is. Even the, so even the people who have challenged you and tested you this year or over life, they all have they all have a purpose and there's valuable lessons and to thank them, even though you, you know, you have to really work on the forgiveness. And forgiveness is huge. You cannot hold, you cannot hold and anger for people who have hurt you because you're not hurting them. The only person that's hurting is you because the only because they're long past or they don't care or whatever it may be. But the only person that's harboring that kind of energy that brings on illnesses and sicknesses and all those things is the only person affected is you. And so when I talk about forgiveness, I'm not saying that you always have to go up to that person and say, I forgive you. In your heart, you have to forgive and you say, I, you know, I forgive even myself for holding on to this kind of anger and this kind of hurt and pain or to, you know, that has caused me to kind of be harder on myself and I'm releasing this person, I'm releasing the energy of this person and I forgive them for what they did not know or for what they did not know at the time and they may even know better now, right? So when we can move past that and allow yourself to move, move into a new light, 
because holding on, harboring, harboring that kind of hurts and angers is never going to serve you. It's not going to serve your heart. It's not going to serve your body. It's not going to serve your mind. It's not going to serve your spirit. And it's definitely not going to serve those who you love with all of your heart because that does ripple effect out into your family and out into those people that you love. Okay, I'm changing decks again now. Hi, Kelly. And hi, Uncle Rod. And Tina. And Jenna. Sorry, I'm not picking individual cards. Like I said, they're cards for everybody tonight. This is my Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, is that instead of picking individuals, because so many people get left out on a weekly basis, that I want to just give cards for everyone. Like I said, I was supposed to be on holidays. I'm not supposed to be in here. I officially started holidays today, and I was not supposed to be on my live anymore until New Year's, but I wanted to be in with you guys one last time before Christmas. Yeah, Felicia, I'm not channeled in right now to be able to tell you exactly who is creeping across the floor. Like I said, I'm not doing Susan, I struggle to forgive that woman who, who failed my child. I know. So, Susan, I get you. And this is, so this is where I talk about everything is so different, right? Our pain, our grief, our forgivenesses are all on different levels. And sometimes that level of forgiveness is going to take a lot longer, a lot more time. My, my prayer to you, Susan, and my hope for you is that the day comes and the time comes when you can find some level of of so, some level of forgiveness. And I want to say a little, like some level of forgiveness that, oh, that frees you a little bit. And whether or not it's full, wh whatever it may be. But my prayer is always to you is that you find it so that your beautiful heart gets to find some sort of freedom. And I'm going to make it to visit you guys too. Someday, I'm going to be doing my, my, my tours through the U.S. somehow. I know it's going to be happening. Okay, so now I'm going into uh, Call It Bam Read cards. These are the animal spirit cards. Spirit animal cards. Okay, so if you're somebody... This card came flying out, so we're, we're, we're going here. So if you are somebody who says, I've been praying and I've been meditating and I, nothing is happening, I keep, I keep asking God or I keep asking the universe for this to happen and that to happen and nothing's happening, you have to remember that timing only matters to us humans. It's in divine timing. When it's meant to happen, when it's meant to align, when life is meant to take you in that right direction, it will happen. It's about you letting go of control of trying to force life to happen. And this is the seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. They just wrap their little tails around like, you know, and they just wait. It's that watch and wait. Watch and wait for life to happen. All you have to do, you put it out there. Thousand Islands, New York. Yes, maybe. I've been talking about New York. Actually, I've been talking to, I have some friends in New York. So I've been... I've had an, I had a, I had a dream that I was going to be working with some friends from New York. So, uh, I hope, uh, and so this, yes. And Vancouver Island, that'll be Vancouver Island's actually going to be soon. That's going to be into the new year, probably February, March for sure. Um, I, cause I feel like somebody in here is trying to force life to happen. Like you're trying to either make a relationship happen. That's not ready to happen. Or you're trying to, you're trying to rush yourself to be a certain level of like healing or a certain level of where you think you should be, or you're watching like other people, well, they're there and I'm still here. It's not a competition. Healing is not a con competition. Life is not a competition. You're not a part of a competition. You're a part, you're a part of your own journey your own path. So it's like we always always say in yoga, what happens on your mat is your mat, like in, in meditation. It's your circle. It's what's happening in your world. Everyone's timing is going to be different. And if you and if you stop trying to force it, or if you're someone trying to have a baby, you know, someone who's trying to get pregnant and it's not happening in your time, I want to get pregnant now. I feel like that's somewhere here. If you want to get pregnant right now, I want it to happen now. I want it to happen now. Like, that's not how it happens. Then you just put more pressure and you're trying to control something that's that is not in your control. 
I have friends in Kingston. Yes, I do have friends in Kingston. I'm actually, hey, I think I'm actually going to be in Ontario doing a workshop for, uh, for a friend. I was just, I am actually getting some stuff into her tonight or tomorrow. Um, and I don't know what kind of workshop she has me coming to, but I do know I'm going to Ontario to do a workshop. I am up for hire. <laughs> you can hire me to come to your events, or you can hire me to, yeah, you can bring me in to do private, uh, private events. I do group sessions. Hi, Amy. Family gathering in here, I see. Okay, the next card that I pull is, and I'm back into this chat, is use your mind wisely. We're moving into the year of the pig, and if you follow Chinese astrology and Chinese horoscopes, we're moving into the year of the pig. I am born in the year of the pig. Every 12 years, your year. So if you, if you don't know anything about Chinese astrology, Go explore it, and I think we're moving into an. Uh, I think we're moving into an Earth pig. I think so. It's like kind of grounded and stuff, and so it's it's being very connected into our thoughts and and how powerful our thoughts are. So, what comes into your mind and what you continually put into your head, remember that you manifest your own shit. You manifest stuff to happen. So if you are the if you're always in that negative, if you're always in that place of life always goes wrong and you're always in your head and you're always overthinking, no, I can't do that. Nope, I'm not. And my pet peeve word is can't. I hate can't. And when I went to hairdressing school at Lemoyne School of Hair Design back 30 years or something years ago, I we were not allowed to use that word can't. And it's, so we get that in our mind. I can't do that. I can't heal. I can't. And when you when you start to use your mind in the most healthy way, which means connect it to the divine and connect it to your heart, you start to be able to change the thoughts so that your words and your thoughts start to match and you start to align into the divine life that you're here to live. And instead of playing playing role to the victim or playing role to the child of us and playing role to the old versions of ourselves, we start to be able to play the roles of, of the adult or the, or, or the truth, the, um, the divine connection, that connection to God that we have, and you start to go into that place. But it, you have to remember that this mind can manifest. You can manifest the craziest stuff in your head, and you can manifest in yourself. You can talk yourself out of achieving and doing anything but in the same breath you can talk yourself into accomplishing anything in the world this is the year that I that I gave up my 30-year hairdressing career a few months ago I have no idea how successful this will be I have no idea where the money will come from all I know is that in my mind in my heart in my dreams in everything I know beyond know that this is my role I know beyond know that this is the journey and the path for me to walk. And if I allow myself to get into the fear brain and to get into my head, I'll be back struggling hairdressing to stand up because, or I'll be out looking for another job because I'm stuck here and I will lose out on whatever is to come. It's the experience. Or if you've been challenging through, um, through old something old that's happened in your relationship or in your life if you're challenging yourself if you're if you're there and you keep but you keep going back to the past you're trying to move forward in your relationship but you keep going back to the past and you're in here in that relationship it's like well this happened and they did this and they and you keep going there what's happening so start to see the love right so what move past the past what's possible what's possible in my relationship what's possible if i think if i you know if i clear my mind of this old and allow my heart to do the decisions for me you know and the and the pigs when we're in that when we're in the pig energy type of thing um in chinese astrology is fortune we're about fortune we're about joyous happy uh, we're all about food, right? We're all about gathering everybody together and having happy times. And, and so the, the happier we allow ourselves to be in a happy brain instead of the sad brain or the, or the, the more that, you know, we can convince ourselves we're happy. <laughs> we start to live happier. We start to do happier things. We start to move forward. Hi, Coralie. And who else is talking? Yeah, Ontario will be fun. Uh, 
Hi, Ronita. Uh, oh, thank you, Kelly. I'd love to see you guys. Okay. Um, I think I want to change decks again. And I'm oh, and I'm still selling. Anybody still wanting to purchase a printable emailed gift card? I'm still selling gift cards until until tomorrow evening. So if you and you can buy them for video sessions. They don't have to be for in person. You can purchase them for that, and that you can also um, e-transfer. You can message me about the details. You can e-transfer, or you can use. I can send you a PayPal link to pay for those as well. Oh, Susan, did I lose you for a moment? Okay. Now we're going into Adoring Virtue, Radley Valentine. These are Archangel Tarot. This is one of my big decks, one of my decks that I've had for a few years. And this works into the angels. Okay, so I pulled three cards right from the top. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get my... So the first, the first card that I have is three of Ariel, which is do what you love, passion, as well as talking about when we very first started, do what you love. Absolutely, you know, put some thought into and, and it's not that we can not that everybody gets to quit I'm not telling everybody go quit their jobs don't start quitting your jobs <laughs> I've worked at this I've worked at this since 2006 so since 2006 until 2018 I have been working running my other hairdressing business and aesthetics and running this business so for the past four or five years I've been running two full-time businesses so don't just run it and quit your jobs to do what you absolutely love. You have to be, because if you do that, you're going to end up being stressed out and you're not going to be able to do both and you're just going to like kind of struggle through. <laughs> so you got to, you have to be, you have to use like smart brain too, right? We have to, we have to be connected to a logical brain too. Then yeah, should do some groups when you're in Ontario. Uh, yeah, like when I come to Ontario, when I'm, I'm not even sure dates they have me coming to Ontario, I'm coming specifically for an organization that's going to be hiring me. So if anyone wants me to come to Ontario, you have to kind of arrange or have something happening or, or if I know I have like a lot of bookings and stuff, then I can actually come. Um, and this is also like the three of Ariel is, it's, it's also, which is about love. This is also about your growth, your own personal growth, your growth in, in the job you're already in, doing the things that you um, doing the things that you absolutely love to do or to kind of bring back the passion in your career, which we very first started. So if you're joining in late, I feel like this card was kind of for you now because we've talked about this. Um, and working together. That when you work, so working together is that you work we we always have we always have our team on the other side to help us work and help manifest and help life happen for us and so I work with a full council on the other side and I call my council they're my team I call upon them I call upon spirits I you know when I'm channeling through I channel through in a collective and I call upon the collective and whoever is there to be of service to me or whoever is there to help me do the work that I need to do or you know ask so if you're really being if you're really being struggled if, if you're really struggling emotionally and you're really you know feeling down and you don't know how to get back up if you're unsure you know your life is changing your life is transitioning call upon you know call upon your guides call upon mother mary ask for that help Ask them to be of service to you. That's why they're there. That's why we have those people. And also the humans that are here to also help you. If you're someone who refuses to ask for help, that's not a sign of strength. That doesn't mean you're being strong. That means you're just being damn stubborn. Never be afraid to ask people to help you. 
even my humans, I have a whole bunch of humans that I have no problem calling upon now and say, oh my God, I'm having this happen. Could you please help me? You know, like know that you're never here to do this alone. And the more that you make everything in life a, a co cooperative type of venture, the easier life becomes the less it's going to flow and the less that you get stuck in in kind of going from really high peaks to really low when you know you have that and you you're not you know you you have that that help ha and same thing so here's the five of ariel and five of ariel is is about that you don't need to go through your current challenges alone so whoever is in here who's determined that they're doing this alone and, and can kind of almost like kind of that angry, I want to call it that angry kind of F the world type of thing. And I know I have a younger one in here, so I can't swear. Uh, that F the world type of thing is like, um, I do everything by myself and I don't need no one's help. And I, and I do, and I'm always doing everything and da, 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 da. And I'll make anything happen all by myself and da, da, da. And then you notice that, you're going down, you're going down, you're going down, you're going down. Nothing is working out. Everything is crumbling underneath your feet. That's that's not a solid foundation. It's not healthy. And if that if you're doing that, that creates the negativity and the negative thoughts. And that every time that you said that, I don't need nobody, da, 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 that's negative. That's not positive. So who whoever is going through that or whoever is kind of pushing yourself in that kind of way, know that you do have somebody. Allow your softer feminine side to come to life and say, I do need help. It's okay that I need help. It's okay that I can't do everything alone. There's some things you're going to do alone. There's some things that it's okay to do alone, but you're not here to do life alone. I know I don't do this life alone because if I did, Damn it, I don't know where I'd be. I call upon those people to help me. I call upon the, you know, those those in the spirit world to help me. Know that you have them. And then your epiphanies. Major life arcana cards. And this is this is the magician and the epiphanies. What is coming to life for you? Um, and this is joy through spiritual growth, right? Um, your answers come through meditation and prayer. That's where you get your answers. You don't get your answers when you're constantly push, 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 or you're constantly rushing through life. You have to stop. You need to stop and take a breath. You need to stop and breathe. And when you stop and breathe, you get to see the epiphanies. What is the aha moments that, you know, when you're shining a light up on your life, you also get to help others shine a light up on theirs. And when you're not shining a light up on your life, you're not capable of and not able because your light is not bright enough for you. So how's it going to be bright enough to help somebody else shine a light upon theirs? Growing spiritually, awakening spiritually, all of these things, they really truly come from a place of joy. It's happy. It's, it's, it's joyful moments. Yes, we cry. Yes, we get sad. Yes, we get angry because we have to release and let go. But it's not we're not here to struggle and we're not here to carry the burdens of the world on our back. And as, and as, and as my daughter reminded me, we don't need to carry the cross on our backs. We're not here to carry the cross on our back. She says, take the cross off and stand it up on the ground, stand tall, right? L don't be weighed down with the burdens that are not worth carrying. Release the burdens. Let yourself stand up. Let yourself breathe. Let yourself see the light. Let yourself be able to look beyond the one dimensional. Let yourself be able to see a bigger world. Alicia, I used to be that. I could do it myself and I would fall and fail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, me too. I only tell what I know, right? And like, I've, I've lived that. I live that. I say, F you. I don't need nobody. I can do everything myself. And what happens? We crumble. We fall. Shit happens. It goes sideways. Um, yeah, blessed angels you have. Exactly. You know, if you know, if you have your mom, your dad, anyone on the other side who's passed away, they were you, they were your mom and dad here, and they helped you. Or even if they didn't help you here, they're going to help you on the other side. 
So if you have someone who passed away who was a struggle for you and you're wondering why they keep coming through to you now, it's because they're here to help heal and, and, and to make amends and those type of things because they're not the same human they were here. So if you're someone who struggled with that or if you're someone who had somebody who absolutely loved you and, and you know they, they were always there for you, they're still always there for you. The only thing that changed was that they left their human body. They're still there. Smart daughter, smart mother. Yes, yes, I have a very smart daughter. She's a very old soul. Merry Christmas, Yvette. Uh, Corley, I'm always feeling like I'm stuck in the same circle. Yes, and this is where those cards, that I, that's why these cards have kind of been coming around tonight, Corley. So we're coming around to the same, no matter what deck I pull out, because they're all connected to the divine, is that the cards will all get the same messages. They're all going to speak the same messages. If you've been stuck in a circle, if you've been stuck going around like a hamster in a wheel or of life, and you keep doing the same, it's like this, like I said, this moon that we went through last night, this whole, this whole, switch and change that we had been in with the retrograde and you know having to face our realities and face ourselves and face our fears it's because it is time we're moving 2019 and where we're coming this next phase that we're in right now it is about release and let go it is about freedom it's about opening ourselves up and when we open up and we open our hearts up we can feel the flow of the life force energy, which is called love. Letting love into our lives and allowing people to love us, letting people help us, letting people be there. And the magician is really about that you can manifest the life that you want. And this is where I was talking about the brain and being stuck into your brain. This is about number one. This is about you are the creator of, of your universe in the, in the way of you can manifest, you can bring to life, you get, you get a choice. And this is where free will comes in. I can be the guide to anybody, but I'm not here to live your lives, and I'm not here to tell you exactly how to live your lives. You can have guidance. You can be told from spirit. You can be told from the channels. You can be told from anybody about life. You have the free will to live the life that you, you want to live. So everything that we make a decision to do, we know what we're doing to ourselves whether it is we're sabotaging ourselves. And we don't know why sometimes yet until we have to face the, the past. So that's why that's why I'm here. I help you be able to face the past, face the things, the obstacles that are standing in your way that keep you from living the life that you want to live. And sometimes we need that kind of help, right? And so it's, you can be magical. What do you need? To, what do you what? What can you start seeing that's magical in your life? And if you stop focusing on all the things that are wrong and start looking at some of the right things, I don't care if it's one thing a day or one thing an hour. Start to see the wonderful things. What What are the good things that have happened to you? What are the blessings that you've had? Start the gratitude list. Start being thankful. And it's like the moment that you can start to see life that way, success starts to happen again. And I, it's we live this life of you know we all believe we all should be up on this top floor all the time and the party's always on the top floor but we often fall to our knees and we drop down and we're given life experiences that drop us to our knees and we have to experience that lower level stuff and don't get me wrong this is not about every situation this is not about the loss of people in our lives this is about our our life in general if you know we lose a job and we're, we're, we're on top of the world. We got the best job in the world, we think. We got the best job in the world. And if you're someone who thinks you had, that you had the best job, and then all of a sudden that job was gone. But you start looking at, I was sick. It wasn't working for me. I was unhappy. I was miserable. I was fighting with everybody. Everybody, you know, nobody was getting along. And then all of a sudden that job is gone. And you're like, oh, shit, now what? Well, that's life freeing you up to go find something else, but it's teaching you down here, when you're down here, that I have to make a choice to bring myself back up. What are you doing for yourself to rise yourself back up? And part of that is having faith in you. When you have faith in you, this comes with the number one card too, and the epiphanies, and the Ariel, which is love. When you, there's one thing to have faith in a universe and faith in God, but it's not all of that, their jobs to make sure that you live this life. You have to have faith in you. What are you capable of? What are you capable of doing? Do you believe in yourself? Because if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't believe that you are worthy, and this goes back to the house, the home that houses the spirit, value again. You have to have value in you. 
and you have to have faith in you. When you believe in you and you believe beyond anything that you're worthy of that and you believe that you can make your life happen, not it's not going to happen in your time. It's going to happen in divine timing, right? So when you know that, things start to happen. And sometimes you got to be set free so from some some circumstances and situations and relationships so that you can step away and find what's right for you. Okay. One more card. Night, Kelly. We make our own reality. Yes, Yvette, we sure do make our own reality. We create. So real life happens and real life situations happen and life happens. And um, there's not a doubt and there's some things that make you question everything. And I've seen that th many times in these past years that make me question everything of why's and why why would this happen and why do good things happen and like I said earlier some questions have no answers they're not for us to be able to answer and I don't have an answer and I can't give an answer because I don't know and so the other two cards that came out was the king of Michael and Michael is our protector and it's that co that cutting of the cords releasing that letting go and that wisdom and objectivity are important now so it's like you need to be you have to use that uh, wise thinking wise decisions in this is staying your integrity again right we're back to the integrity card once again there's situations that are calling up on you right now that are calling you to be honest with yourself and to also have an to have open communications to communicate to people you can't assume what somebody else is thinking or to continue to create stories around what you think somebody else is thinking or if you have heard words that you that someone says that somebody said about you they did not come from that person's mouth and they came from someone else then you don't know what those words are because they did not come from that person they might never have been the way that it was said it's like have have honest and open communications so that you're not assuming stories and creating stories and this is part of our integrity we stay in our integrity when we make a choice to 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 face our realities and to face face people to get our truth because we don't know the truth so then we start to create and we start to create a tornado and a storm and things don't things are not that way you know things are not always that way that you've been that you've made up for yourself and I, I remember t having a conversation with a really good friend she's like I know that's what that person's thinking and I know that's the way they think of that and I'm like no you actually know shit you know nothing we know nothing it's like um, how do you know that's what that person is thinking how do you know do you live in do you live in their spirit do you live in their body do you live as them you don't know so the more that you start to create the stories the more you create the chaos in your own life wisdom getting to getting to educate yourself getting to know things getting to know truth reading um, like it said I stopped following the news that was coming from from mouths of fear a long time ago and now I make a choice to read my news and I read from several different different papers or different online places and I make my own opinion I don't I don't take it from the fear base that's advertising that's trying to trying to bring fear into our lives to make us all see something one way and if I want to know something if I if I've heard if I want to know it if I'm really that much interested and wanting to know and I'll go communicate to the person making that choice do not be making up your stories because you're creating your own problems right and so part of your growth is and part of the self-respect and the and the stepping away from self-sabotage it's really calling upon you to to cut the cords of old behaviors and old and old behaviors that allowed you to start living in old stories Tell your own stories tell new stories there's always room for new stories and there's always room for a rebirth and a start over there's always a new I've got a tattoo that I live by that quote 
<laughs> Everyone, we should probably all have that tattooed on us. We make our own reality. And the other card that came out is the Ten of Gabriel. And Gabriel can be can be masculine or feminine with Gabriel or Gabrielle. Uh, and it's like asking our angels for help. So it's the same cards I pulled it from the other deck. It's like lighten your load. Let it go. Surrendering. So this full moon of last night was about surrender. Surrendering to surrendering to what you can't change. Surrendering to what's out of your control. Surrendering to to that. Um, surrendering to that that desire to feel the need that you always have to be working so hard to make life happen. We don't have to work so hard mentally to make life happen. There's easier. And there's a much simpler way to do things. Life is not meant to be struggle. And you're not meant to struggle. Okay. I'm going back to Mother Mary deck. And I'm going to pull one more card. And then I'm leaving. Because I've been in. I was only coming for a half hour when I came. Just to do my Merry Christmas. And I'm still here. Uh, Alicia, how do we surrender to that? Surrender. So surrendering often just, I always, I do my surrenders in my prayers. I surrender to what's out of my control. I surrender to what I can't change. Right. And then it takes practice surrendering. You know, it's like, um, you can, some people surrender every day, but don't really mean it. You have to set your intentions in surrendering. Set an intention that you really truly believe that surrendering is going to be of service to you. It's going to help you. It does take work. Everything takes work. Healing takes you putting in an effort. Awakening. You can awaken and do nothing else with it. Or you can awaken and put in the work to do the healing work that needs to be done. All right. One last card from Mother Mary. I just want to see this last comment. Oh, that was just... Okay. Good, Corley. I'm glad that's what you needed. My one last card. But something's telling me to pull the second one. So, Faith is the card that I just pulled. The second card that I was just told to pick off the pack, off the top of the pack, is the first card that I pulled tonight. Enthusiasm. Back to enthusiasm. This is the shift in the energy. Become passionate about your life. You are worthy of living a life that is full of passion and love. And when you are passionate about your life and when you live in a place of passion and love and joy and enthusiasm that you know you're worthy of, of greatness in this world, the flow of life force energy that changes and the love that comes into your world and the light that comes into your life will change circumstances and change your life in ways that are miraculous. Miracles happen when we believe and we have faith. Have faith in, in the unknown. Have faith that there's something beyond us that helps us. And I have seen it and I have seen miracles happen in such big ways that I can't even tell you how or why they have happened. But I can tell you, I have experienced them and I have seen them. And miracles are ha little miracles happen every day. And when you start to see your life with gratitude and you start to see the little blessings that you have, you start to be able to see that life is full of awe and wonder and also full of beauty and joy. And be kind to yourself. Not every day is going to... I wish my lighting was different tonight. Tenderness. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle to yourself and know that you are worthy of all of the love in the world and you're worthy of treating yourself as if you would treat anyone else and to treat yourself self as if you are number one because you will be of service to everyone that, that you love and everyone that's in your life when you are taking care of you. And not only have faith in the universe and God and whatever else or whatever God is for you, but it's about having faith in yourself. So start having faith in you. And then of course Christmas is about, Christmas is about giving and receiving. Like every other day, 
we don't need one day in particular to remind us to be kind. And that's kind to yourself. And if you're someone who's always giving and you're like, oh, but I give all the time. But are you giving back to you? Because if you give all the time to everybody else and you're not giving to you, you're not being of service to you. So take this Christmas, spend some time on the couch, drink wine, hang out, drink coffee, hot chocolate, I don't care, whatever it is. <laughs> spend time with people that you love and even spend time with just total strangers. It doesn't matter. Remember that if you cannot be home in your home, that you have a home within yourself and that there's always joy and happiness and to open your doors and invite people in and be kind. And most of all, have a Merry Christmas. And I love each and every one of you and I am so thankful for the people who do support me and the people who have been there and the people that continuously uh, put their faith in me to be able to help them through their healing and through their journey. I am blessed and I am blessed to have this life and I'm honored to be able to do this. So thank you all and I will see you all in the new year. And like I said, I will be posting, um, if it's not up tonight, it'll be up by tomorrow morning about the um, about the offer that I have for $79.99 to be able to, to have a year in review plus a, a video session recording that's, that's pre-recorded for you of your year in review and then what's to come for 2019, a little bit of a forecast. So thank you, thank you all. And if you wanna book a private session with me, you can message me. We do have the new website coming up in January and I will have a appointment booking system that you'll be able to book your own appointments. But in the meantime, just message me. Thank you all and much love to you all. Uh, just making sure I didn't answer. Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you and I'll see you all. Bye-bye.